Welcome back to One Comic Book a Day, where we're covering the lost and found mysteries. I actually already recorded this video, but uh, it didn't record, so let's do this again. Uh, this is a prankster story as we sort of change into a different type of prankster story. First of all, the prankster has changed himself, no longer looking... Oh yeah, that's, that's too much. He's maybe 10% more like a character who doesn't look like a cartoon character. I remember he had like the huge belly with the very skinny neck and the face that looks like Howdy Doody. They've changed it a little, like 10% better. But the prankster stories have mostly been about him scamming a person for money, doing something that's technically not illegal until it is illegal, and then Superman dealing with it, except the people he took money from backstab him and Superman ends up having to save the prankster. We're now into a new prankster storyline or type of structure where the prankster is just going to do something weird, which is also scamming a whole bunch of people, and then getting away with it till Superman puts an end to it. Here in the Lost and Found Mysteries, there is several Lost and Found advertisements in the newspaper coming from rich people, and they're really weird, because like the first one is finding a needle in a haystack, which Superman can just easily do with his x-ray vision, and he actually kind of does. Uh, each one of these things is for something that no one should care about, but has like a massive reward. Well, it turns out the prankster is blackmailing each one of these rich people, and then instead of just like doing this hidden, he wants his payment out front and loud, where they put whatever the hell it is, like they'll, they'll grab like a needle from the guy's house. Tell him to put out an ad to give a reward for the needle, and then they come for the blackmail money. And they lie because another guy comes as a reporter saying he knows something about it and he wants money too. So he's trying to double dip. This works well for the prankster, oddly enough. Uh, but Superman does find out what's happening by doing what he usually does, threatening a bunch of guys into thinking he'll kill them until they tell him what he wants. Now, he doesn't do this on the prankster, oddly enough. Even though it possibly would work on the prankster. Maybe the prankster's crazy enough that it wouldn't work. I don't know, he's been begging for his life when the other guys try to kill him all the time. But he seems to be stuck by not being able to prove there's a crime being committed. Come on, Superman, just grab him and throw him in front of a train. It's what you love to do. I do not support this type of Superman, but like when Superman can't do something in the time where he does this crap, it's really just a strange thing when he says he can't do anything about it. But the prankster makes the biggest mistake the prankster can possibly make. He kidnaps Lois. Now, here is the really interesting part, and maybe the important part of this issue. The prankster is the first person to figure out that his x-ray vision, Superman's x-ray vision, does not work on lead, just like actual x-rays. He's put this together, so he's built like a box shelter underground where he's going to hide with Lois while Superman gives over $50,000. And this would have worked, except prankster doesn't foresee the Big problem with this plan. You see, Superman uses his x-ray vision and sees nothing, but there's randomly a big box he can't see through underground, so uh, that must be it. But it is impressive that a villain as dumb as the prankster figured out one of his big weaknesses, so this is a first right here. Superman saves Lois and puts the prankster away, and he probably will be sharing that whole lead weakness. Actually, Lois will probably do it in the goddamn article. Damn you, Lois! And that is it from The Lost and Found Mysteries. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to get notification when a new video goes up. I do this Monday through Friday, but Friday's a Bat Friday where I cover a Batman story, not a Detective Comics or Batman. Until next time, let's ponder the question, whatever did happen to the Man of Tomorrow? And why did they choose the prankster to be the one who figures out this mystery? Okay, have a great day.